Professorville is, is one of my favorite neighborhoods in Palo Alto. I actually live in the Professorville neighborhood, so I'm a little biased, but uh, uh, it was settled uh, at the turn of the century by the professors that were coming to teach at Stanford. Leland Stanford wanted them over on the campus, but he wanted to lease some land. They didn't like that, so they came across the street and bought their own land and built their own homes. It has a very, very interesting, fascinating history. It's, it, it, these were very active individuals who formed the first utility companies, formed the whole community services from the ground up. You still feel that today. We, we still have our, we're one of the few municipalities in the country that has um, our own water and electrical and uh, uh, just full utility system, city owned. This neighborhood still has the character from those professors and from their, and it, it carried on in the entrepreneurship. Professorville is where the Hewlett Packard garage is located. It's right in the middle of, of Professorville and it's now Hewlett at Packard fortunately bought it recently and renovated it and it looks great and there's a plaque in front of it and people can come by and see it. But it, it, it is interesting that those sort of maverick personalities somehow morphed into what is now the heart of the Silicon Valley, the entrepreneurs and the go-getters that still drive this economy here and a lot of them are here. They're right in ground zero where it all was 100 years ago. This is a very, very strong family neighborhood because of the schools are so good. People buy in Palo Alto and buy in this neighborhood for the elementary school, the middle school, and the high school. At the same time, the access that you have downtown makes it very active. You're on your feet wherever you want to go. For my lifestyle, I, I, I'm walking to work and walking to eat and walking to schools and walking to everything. It's great. Uh, there's no doubt that the technology of the valley permeates you know, everything we have here, but at the same time it's, it's a thriving culture and you have you know, empty nesters or young professionals. It really kind of fits, fits everybody and that is actually what's very neat about this neighborhood in general and the location in general is that it is varied uh, and it has a lot of very demographic in it and you just have a really, really neat bunch of people that are your neighbors and it keeps things lively and active. Uh, you've never seen a city council meeting until you've seen one in Palo Alto.